find this interesting and maybe it might help someone. We're in a 2008 Renault traffic couple of Aero. We're actually starting to move there. Only for test purposes. Look, our speedo is not working. The tachometer is working, but we are moving and driving okay. So the speedo is not doing its job. You can see there now. Okay, right. I'm just going to show you. This was starting to puzzle me a little bit, and what I what I I was actually looking to try and see some pattern of where this thing was coming from it's not being driven by a speedo sensor in the gearbox it's been driven from the actual abs control module there is no speedo sensor in the gearbox so with the information coming from the abs control module and i was looking on where and i was trying to figure out where we were getting the signal coming from to this thing um luckily i had another van a donor van here and i could pinpoint which wire was actually sending a signal into the instrument cluster uh, from an auto data wiring diagram, I also had that same wire coming from the ABS control module to the instrument cluster. It was being piggybacked by uh, engine ECU, and it was also saying the, the uh, radio unit and the satellite navigation unit and a few bits and pieces like that. Multifunction control module also was seeing the... the the speed of that signal wire was coming from it. Um, what I couldn't figure out was, I just couldn't figure out what was causing the problem. Was the wire broken? Was it, what was happening? So anyway, basically we started, where do we start? We turned around, we got a breakout box and we plugged it into the DL16. It's hanging out there loose, which is, is not really a, a problem for me right now. Um, I got, what I'm using here for this is just a little U-scope. Um, I'm just gonna show this yoke. We'll pop this on and I'm gonna, you don't actually necessarily need this stuff now. I know some people do say that they don't, they don't like, I'm gonna ground it via the chassis ground here. We have CAN communication, we have power and stuff coming to my uh, DL16. What I am doing now is I'm gonna show you in at the back of the instrument cluster. Might be a little bit, one second now, this is kind of a, what we call it, a, a work in progress. I'm gonna try and show it to you live, okay? I'm just putting in a, a pin in my, lead coming from my scope if we go up oh, now my wires decide to get knotted up if we go up oh, now I made them worse sorry about this guys right I'm coming up now and putting my breaker box up here but anyway if I go up and into the back of this um, instrument cluster there's two block connectors there's a red one over here hard enough to see and there's a green one here it's pin number 14 on Black connector B on the wiring diagram, but see that wire? It's a violet and black wire. I'm going to back probe that, okay? So this is the that is the wire that I should be getting my signal on, okay? It should be a zero to twelve volt square wave. Now, here we are, and that is our live information across here. Now we have zero volts there. What I done was. I thought maybe this wire was going to be shorted to ground somewhere where it was joining into some of these components whether it was the engine ECU or a block connector I done a normal crack I thought hey is it happening out in where there's weather where there's heat um, some of these things but no what I done was I used that jumper cable there and my test light snap on test light and I went to see was it that wire shorted the ground it's not shorted the ground so I went from 12 volts uh, terminal here on my breakout box and then brought the other side of the test light in to that wire and it's not grounded so it's not it wasn't being shorted to ground then I said right where am I going to be going now I I, I could drive you can see you saw the speed was not working I could drive and you could see oh my dear crack you see that uh, this I have no signal there some little small little thing happening but it, it's very low you can actually see it how small it is it's just, it's maybe a, up to about one volt where it should be switching to 12 volts 12 volts now is up around here we have it set on a 14 volt scale see this I was reading a couple of threads on the internet last night trying to figure out where I was going and I saw it was coming through the the audio unit so I just thought the radio isn't working the screen on it was working and it's looking for a code now because I'm after having it disconnected the screen on it was working but I had no audible tone so I had no no music no whatever it may be coming out of it I had no noise 
So then I said, look, maybe this could be it. So I went in, disconnect. I'm going to pull out the whole lot. I'm not even going to debate on this. That block connector is coming to these uh, steering wheel controls. I'm going to just throw the whole lot out of it. One second now. This is a little bit awkward. Single-handedly, he says. Maybe I might have to put that camera down a second. Oh. Now, this radio is out of it. When I take it out, she hasn't just installed anything nearly. When I go to take it out, look in here. The green or blue crusties inside in the block connector on the top of the radio. It's the original radio, it's a Renault radio. And there is no screen on top. Sometimes you have a little screen giving us temperature and all that kind of crap. But once that's gone out of it, we'll take off now and look at our speedo. And I'll show you a signal then in a second. I suppose we'll first of all look down here. It's actually very hard to see. One second. Why can't we see that? Maybe there we can see it. Right, we move. What's the green line? Ooh, we could actually change our our time base if we wanted there. So five milliseconds. We go to like one second. Okay. Now you can see a nice signal starting to come. We can also see here. Lo and behold, the speed up. Back work. It was in limp mode, it wouldn't go over two and a half thousand RPM. It's going over two and a half thousand RPM. We had no signal coming from um, one fault code saying no signal, no speed signal, and that's the engine EC you wasn't seeing it, but it's the radio that's creating the problem. Okay, just don't get caught on it. Looked on YouTube, looked on forums, couldn't find a whole lot. One man said when I was looking at it late last night that he had a hands-free kit and the hands-free kit was affecting his speed up. And that made me think, crikey, we're going after him. I go after my radio and see if the radio is causing the problem. So Opel Vivaro, Nissan Prima Star, Renault Traffic, two liter engine inside it, two liter diesel, it's 08. And what I'd be saying is just watch it. I'm gonna stick the video up on YouTube. Hopefully it'll help someone. Um, Kennedy's Garage, please like and subscribe. I only have about three subscribers, uh, people I know. So if if we've got a like or a subscribe, I'd be totally happy. Com comment as well, and I'll uh, send comment back to you if I can. Okay, thank you. Bye.